Hey guys, this is the video for 1 through 26 odd. Um, these are the answers. Okay, so on number one, for each, identify the x-intercepts, write the functions in intercept form, standard form, and vertex form. All right, so first it wants the x-intercepts, so that's where it crosses the x-axis, which is right here. So here's one, and here's one. Okay, so this is at negative one, and three. Okay, so you can see it as either x equals negative one comma three, or you can see it as negative one zero and three zero. Okay, make sure because they're the x intercepts, these are x, y points, so the x is the one that gets the number, and then the y is zero. Okay, Intercept form means that you're taking your x's and putting them back into parentheses. Okay, so negative 1, it goes back opposite. So you have x plus 1, and you'll have x minus 3. Okay, so it was a negative 1, and now it's a positive 1. It was a positive 3, now it's a negative 3. It's because of this, if I set each of these equal to zero, I will get my x's. So if I said, let's put it over here, if I said x plus 1 equals zero, and I solve by subtracting 1 to both sides, that x would equal negative 1, and it, you can see it is negative 1. Okay, so that's why they go back opposite. Standard form is when you multiply all of this out. Okay, so standard is when it looks like ax squared plus bx plus c. That's standard form. Okay, so I'm going to show my work down here because this show all work. So x plus 1, x minus 3. Okay, so this is when you're going to foil or rainbows, unicorns, and sparkles, as Ms. McGaw said. So x times x, remember that's x squared. X then has to multiply by negative 3, so it's negative 3x. 1 has to multiply by x, which is a positive 1x. And then 1 has to also multiply by that negative 3, which is a negative 3. Then I can add like terms. So that's x squared minus 2x minus 3. And that's standard form, so I'm going to write that up here. Okay, vertex form, I can either use this and find the vertex, but I was given the picture. So my vertex is right here. That's my vertex. Right here's my vertex. So that is at 1, negative 4. So let me label that. 1, negative 4. Okay, so in vertex form, vertex form is where it says x minus h squared plus k. Okay, so in your vertex, your x and your y are your h and your k. But you have to remember it's a minus h, which means opposite. So when I do vertex form, it's going to be x, the opposite of my vertex up here. So the opposite of 1 is negative 1. So x minus 1 squared minus 4. You keep your y. So it's opposite keep. Opposite is negative 1. Keep is negative 4. Okay, let's go down here to the matching. Okay, so you have to do 3 and 5 because we're doing odds. So the first thing I look at when I'm doing these is, is it going to be positive or negative? Okay, this guy has to have a positive number out front. This guy has to have a positive number out front, and this guy has to have a negative. So automatically, 5 is C because it has to have a negative out front because it's facing down. If you wanted to check your work, you could say this guy is 3, 0, and this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, 0, which means when this factors, I should get those as solutions. 
So if you wanted to check your work, I could pull out a negative, because remember, don't forget GCFs. So if I pull out a negative, that's x squared, then that becomes a plus x, and that becomes a minus 12. Okay, and when you're factoring this, it's the big X. Okay, so it has to multiply to negative 12, add to 1, and it's only a 1x squared right here, so each of these just get your x. Okay, um, let's see, what multiplies to 12? 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. Okay, it's going to have to be a 3 and a 4. And it's negative, but this guy's positive when I add. So, positive. So, positive 4, negative 3. Okay, so keep your negative out front. X minus 3, X plus 4. And remember, your x-intercepts, they're solutions, okay? Which means this guy would be X equals 3, and this would be X equals negative 4 when you solve. Okay, they always switch signs. So does that match? Yes, that matches. Okay, you're going to use that same concept here. Okay, so for number three, I need to factor this guy, which means I'm going to have two sets of parentheses with x's. Okay, I have to multiply to negative 12, but add to 1. So again, it's going to have to be a 3 and a 4. And let's see, if I make has to be positive. So bigger number has to be positive. Smaller number has to be negative. So x minus 3 and x plus 4. Let's just check. 4 minus 3 gives me a 1. Negative 3 times 4 gives me a negative 12. Okay. And then I have to solve these. So I did it quick over here. But what I did was I said x minus 3 equals 0. And x plus 4 equals 0. Add 3. So x has to equal 3, subtract 4, so x has to equal negative 4. So let's see, um, 3, let's see, 1, 2, 3, that guy's at 4, this guy's at negative 3, 1, 2, 4, negative 4, 1, 2, 3. So this guy would be b. Okay, which means this one's automatically A. However, you need to show your work to show why it's A. Okay, let's go on to the next page. Remember, we're doing odds. So, this says convert each of the following from standard form to intercept form. Okay, intercept form means factor. Okay, and what's the first thing you always have to do when you're factoring? Yeah, GCF. Don't forget GCF. GCF goes first. Always, because your GCF is your A value when you're doing all these other stuff. Okay, so my GCF, let's see, 3, 15, and negative 18. 3 can come out of all of those. So I need to pull out a 3 first. which leaves, so basically you're dividing each of these by 3, which leaves an x squared, um, a positive 5x, and a negative 6. All right, then I've already taken out the GCF. Now I have to factor this guy right here. Okay, be careful because this one with the 5 and the negative 6 messes so many students up. Whenever you're finding factors of 6, I don't know why, um, it's tricky for everyone. Doesn't matter if you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, um, everyone gets this mixed up. So I'm doing 6. So 6, 1 and 6, 2 and 3 are my lists that multiply. Okay, so I need to be negative 6. So if I multiply... One of them has to be negative. So if I put a negative on one, that multiplies, and six minus one, yep, that gives me five. Okay, but be careful not to choose two and three because they'll add to five, but they're not gonna multiply to negative one. Okay, so I'm choosing these two. So that, don't forget to bring your three. So that's x minus one and x plus six. 
Okay, when you're doing these, um, and let's say I wanted you to solve. Okay, this is not your solution. These go into your factors, and then you have another step to solve. However, this just wanted you to convert. So this is your final answer. Okay, down below, it says convert intercept form to standard form. Standard form, remember, that's when you're going to multiply everything out. That's when you're multiplying. Okay, so x times x, x times 4. So now the x has gone to both of them. So that's x squared and a negative 4x. Then I have to make the 2 go to both of them as well. 2 times x is a positive 2x. Two, 2 and negative 4 is negative 8. Do not leave it like this. You have to add like terms. So x squared minus 2x minus 8. And technically, y'all know you should put f of x. In there. All right, number 11. Okay, so this guy's a little different because that has a negative 2 in front of it. However, I'm going to leave this negative 2 to the end. So I'm only going to worry about this part of it right here. But don't forget, you have that negative 2 you have to do later. Okay. So 3x and x, 3x and 4, 3x times x is going to be a 3x squared. 3x times 4 is a positive 12x. Then I have to do the 5. Negative 5 times x is a negative 5x. Negative 5 times 4 is a negative 20. Add like terms. 3x squared, uh, 12 minus 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 is 7 plus 7x minus 20. But I am not done. Do not forget. I left that negative 2 to the end. So I'm going to put parentheses around this, put a negative 2 out front, and I have to distribute that to every single piece in my parentheses. So my final answer is negative 6x squared minus 14x plus 40. Let's go down below, convert each of the following from vertex to standard. Again, you're multiplying it all out. I'm going to do this guy right here first. Okay, don't forget that that squared means you're writing it twice. So this is actually this. So if I do this part first, that is a x squared plus x plus x plus 1, so that's x squared plus 2x plus 1, and then I have to bring the negative 4 out front and the plus 7 at the end. Okay, I have to leave the, 7 at, the plus 7 until the end though, because parentheses always come first, so let's distribute negative 4x squared minus 8x minus 4, and then bring down your plus 7. So these guys are now like terms. So your final answer is negative 4x squared minus 8x plus 3, right? 4, 5, 6, 7, yep, plus 3.